Good evening everybody, it's your pal Martin Knight here, hope you're going well. Today, I'm doing a vlog about the life and death of Imogen Hasland. Now, we're going to go visit her grave today, and she's buried in Gaps Cemetery near Wilmington. Now, Imogen Hassell was born 25th of August 1942, and she passed away the 16th of November 1980. She was an English actress who appeared in 33 films through the 1960s and the 1970s. She was born in Walking Surrey in England and she died in Wimbledon, London, England. Her active years were 1963 to 1980 and her spouses was Kevin Ivers from 1974, divorced 1978 and a short marriage to Andrew Knox, married 1979, divorced 1979. The early life says that she's named after Shakespeare's symbol heroine. She was born in Walking Surrey to a financially comfortable family of artists and businessmen. Her grandfather John Hassell and her aunt Jane Hassell worked as illustrators, while her father Christopher Hassell was a poet, dramatic artist, sorry, drama artist, dramatist and lyrist. She had a brother Nicholas. Her godfather is said to have been the composer Ivo Novell of whom my father had worked extensively as a lyricist. Conversely, on occasion, Hassell would have probably claimed that this distinction was Sir William Walton, who, with whom her father had collaborated in the early 1950s, denied by Lady Walton, Korea. Hassan boarded and attended Elmhurst Ballet School in Camberley between 1952 and 54, and the Royal Ballet School White Lodge, Richmond Park, in between 1955 and 1958. Later in 1958, she stayed in New York City, then returned to live with her family in the Vale of Heath by Hampstead Heath, London. She continued her absorption of theatre mode with study at the London Academy of Music and Drama Arts between 1960 and 1962, followed which she joined the company of Royal Shakespeare Company for one season. After enjoying an appearance in the William Douglas home comedy, The Reclucklet Pier, at Dutch Theatre in 1964, she appeared in the British TV adventure series of the 1960s, such as The Saint, The Avengers, and The Persuaders. In her first significant film role, she played Tara in The Long Duel in 1967. She gained further public notice as a dominant cave girl when Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth in 1970 and played major roles in Carry On Loving and the cult horror film In Incense for the Dames in the same year. In 1973, she appeared in White Cargo alongside David Jackson. Personal life. Hasselin was married to actor Kenneth Ives, and before they were married, they had a daughter called Melanie Ives Hassell, who died four days after being born in 1972. She was briefly married to actor Andrew Knox, the son of actor... Alexandra Knox and Doris Nolan, who later committed suicide in 1987, but they separated after a few months of marriage, and she lost a baby she was expecting. Hassan's private life was a reckless subject of interest in tabloid newspapers. She was known for playing sexy, scandalous, clad characters in film and on TV. This and the revealing outlets she wore at film premieres resulted in being revealed as the Countess of Cleavage. Death. After her failed relationships, the death of her child, her miscarriage, and her career decline, she became depressed. Following previous suicide attempts, she was found dead in a Wilmington home on the morning of the 16th of November 1980 when she fell to meet a friend, the actress Susanna Lee, with whom she was due to go on holiday to Mombasa for that day. She apparently committed suicide by overdosing on Turinal tablets, which is barbiturs, if I'm saying it right. She was interred in Gap Road Cemetery, Wimbledon, London. Portrayal on stage and screen. Her appearance in the film Carry On Loving led to many years later to her being portrayed as a character in the play Cleo, Camping, Emmanuel and Dick, written by Terry Johnston. The play was produced at the Royal National Theatre in September 1988 and received the Oliver Award in 1999 for Best Comedy. Hassan was portrayed by Gina Bellman and Johnston and later adapted the play for a 2000 television film called Blimey. Although the character of Hassan does not appear in the television version, which is much challenged by Johnston from his original play. So, according to the filmography, she was in Bulldog Breed in 1960, 
Cracker Man's, The Mindbenders, The Early Bird, Press for Time, The Long Duel, Bedtime, Take a Girl Like You, Hints for the Dam, Mumsy Nanny, Sunny and Girly, El Condor, The Virgin and the Gypsy, Tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's. Which, funny enough, had a living in John in it, and the guys from like Cliff Richards' band. No, I don't think that was it. Oh, so, something to do with like Cliff Richards' side thing. That's quite interesting, she's in tomorrow. When dinosaurs rule the earth, carrying a loving white cargo, and the last film appearance was licensed to love and kill. She appeared on TV segments such as Sentinel Agents, The Dickie Henderson Show, It Happened Like This, Moon Strike, The Scale of Justice, The Rococket Pier, The Saints, No Hiding Place, The Lions, but The Civil Show, What Touched You on Don Juan, Theatre 65, The Avengers, the Wednesday Play, Champion House, Play of the Month, Mickey Dune, The Troubleshooters, The Champion, Call My Bluff, Softly Softly, The Simon Show, Dear Mother, Love Albert, The Persuaders, On the House, Still I Love, Jason King, which my father used to watch, Going for a Song, Images, The Movie Quiz. So, I'm about to go out to Wimbledon and show you where Imogen is buried. Let's go. Hi there. I'm walking towards Gap Cemetery. It's gonna close at 3.30 today. It's eight minutes past three, and I'm trying to find the grave of Imogen Hassel. According to Wikipedia, uh, she was born in 1942 and passed away nearby in Wimbledon in 1980. She was an English actress who appeared in 33 films during the 60s and 70s. So, we're gonna try to get into the cemetery, which is, over here, yes, gate still open, and literally cemetery shut earlier in the winter because you know sun goes down four o'clock. So if you're trying to visit a cemetery anywhere in England, best to go lunch times. Yes. Now I was told Imogen is buried closer to this entrance, and I think I'm enclosing distance. I know she's buried somewhere in the back. Uh, she's got a really flat tombstone which is Hasland and it's like a lot there's a slate. So I've already got a photograph from find a grave so thank you very much to people find a grave who do put this information out there for all of us grave hunters. And all. I've only got about 20 minutes left until the cemetery shuts so I need to Get in and out before well, they kick me out or they lock me in. <laughs> so here we are. Imogen Hassel, born the 25th of August 1902, died 16th of November 1980. So there's Imogen there. And in loving memory of Imogen Hassel, that looks like it's recent. You see, Imogen Hassel, she had a daughter in the 1970s who only lived for four days. And I've got no idea where her daughter is buried, but maybe her daughter's remains are buried with a mother, or maybe it's buried at a different cemetery, I've got no idea. See, Imogen Hassel was in many different movies in the 1960s and the 70s. She had two marriages that fell apart. Her first husband also took his own life years later after she died. She had a daughter who died at four days of the first marriage, and then a miscarriage. And she t sadly ended her life with, with a barbitrute overdose on the 16th of November. Like her friend was supposed to pick her up and go to Mombasa, Kenya that day. But because she wasn't answering a phone call, that's why Imogen was gone. Rest in peace, Imogen Hassel. You'll never be forgotten. So if you want to find Imogen's grave at Gap Cemetery, always make sure you take this back entrance. Don't take the main entrance over there because this entrance is much closer. You follow this path down here and then Imogen is buried. Um, okay, grave over there where my finger is, where the watering can is, yes. So there we have it. I'm going to go home and make a video prior to you seeing the scene where I'll talk about Imogen's life on camera according to Wikipedia because that's how I like to do my vlogs. 
Anyway, this is Martin the Metalhead. 